I love talking about the trends on this channel, but there are 10 fashion trends that are hot for 2023. But I think that if you're over 50, you need to do them a little differently. And in today's episode, I'm sharing what those 10 trends are and how to wear them well for over 50s. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now, I love following trends and I've had a really good look at some of the key trends and I find that some of them are rather problematic if you're over a certain age. Now, I'm 56 and I know that these videos can be really contentious and I don't expect you all to agree with what I'm going to cover off in this video. And if you do or don't agree, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always up for discussion and debate there. But these are trends that I think are tricky to wear if you are in your 50s, but don't worry, I'm also offering some solutions and some other alternatives so that you can still look stylish and modern and fashion forward. One of the biggest trends this year, and it is everywhere, and it makes a whole lot of sense for spring, summer, and that is lace. Now, the only problem that I have with wearing lace when you're in your 50s is that unless your outfit is styled to perfection, it can kind of go a little bit wrong. And just look a little bit old fashioned and if you're in your 50s it can just make you look a little bit older than your years but the good news is that there's a really great alternative this season and it's like a, a laser cut fabric that looks like lace but it's not quite as delicate so it's quite a modern take on a traditional trend. I'll flick up some images here so you can get the look and feel of what I'm talking about but I tend to think that you should swap out your lace pieces and if you do like this look and as I said it's feminine and it's a great option for spring summer then have a look at some of these laser cut fabrics they give you the same lightweight summery feel as the lace but they're just a little bit more modern now another trend that I have seen quite a bit and that is elasticated waists now I do tend to see women in their sort of 50s and beyond opting for elasticated waist pants. Now I get it, I get it because there's that comfort aspect and that easy to wear and if you put on a few pounds here or there, they're still going to work for you. But there are some alternatives that I think are a little more stylish and what I suggest is don't give up the elasticated waistband altogether, but you can buy some beautiful pants that are tailored, super flattering, but they are flat across the front, but the elastic is actually just in the back. So it's almost like you don't even sort of notice it. So you still get that exact level of comfort, but you get a pant that looks more tailored, sits flatter across your front and your midriff, looks just a little more stylish, but again, you get that comfort. Another great option is drawstring and I know when I talk about drawstring pants here that not all of you feel that you can wear them but certainly those of you that can wear them the drawstring pant is again a little more modern but it also gives you that flexibility and just gives you that little bit of extra comfort as well. Now if you really do like a tailored pant and you don't want anything with sort of that elastic feel or look then what I do suggest is going for a tie waist pant and again you still get that ability to tie the pant where it fits you well and where it feels comfortable. Generally these tie waist pants are a little higher waisted, they're a little bit sort of paper bag style which in my opinion is a great timeless look and also you've got that comfort factor. So I would suggest in your 50s get rid of the full elasticated pants and opt for one of the three styles that I've just mentioned. Anyway at this point I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. As Many of you already know I have a Squarespace blog and in my humble opinion, Squarespace is the easiest way to build any sort of online presence. Squarespace offers some beautiful, simple templates that are stylish. All you need to do is click on one, choose one, and that really quickly and easily becomes the look and feel of your website. So if you are wanting to sell products this year, start a blog, or if you need some sort of business online presence, Squarespace is definitely the easiest way to do it. Now, I'm really excited to share with you today that Squarespace is offering you a 10% discount off your first website or domain. So what I suggest you do is whip on over to squarespace.com, take advantage of their free trial, 
yourself when you are ready to push play on your own website, then use my unique URL, which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my discount code, which is simply the style insider. And that will save you 10% off your first website or domain. It is that simple. Definitely take advantage of this cool offer if you are wanting to launch yourself online this year. Now, the next trend that I want to talk about is stripes. Now, stripes are always in fashion, if you ask me, but there are some super stripes that have been happening this year. And a lot of the super stripes are in bold, bright colors. Now, I tend to think when you're in your 50s, these bold super stripes become a little bit harder to wear and they become a little less flattering. So what I do suggest is if you absolutely love these thick, bold stripes, whether it's on a t-shirt or a dress or a jacket, whatever it may be. If you love the bold stripes, I would opt for a neutral as opposed to multicolored stripes. Otherwise, I would pull it back a little bit and opt for a stripe, whether it's a striped t-shirt or whatever it may be, in just more of a lightweight stripe. These pieces will be more timeless. You'll be able to wear them for years to come. And also, I do think that they're a little more forgiving and just more elegant. Now this next one is definitely going to stir up a bit of trouble for me and that is heels. Now I'm sure some of you will say that's fine if you're tall but if you're a shorty what are you supposed to wear? Well this season there are some gorgeous slingbacks and some tiny little kitten heels on offer and I tend to think that when you're in your 50s and beyond there are so many options out there to wear other than sort of teetering around in uncomfortable super high heels. Now also one of the key trends for this year is platforms. If you're going to opt for a heel at all, I would suggest going for a platform or a wedge because wedges are happening this year as well. But if you would rather give heels a miss, there are plenty of great options where you get comfort, style and a modern looking outfit. I've got one friend who has been a die-hard heel wearer. She's recently just had a hip replacement and I've got her into some cool new trainers. And despite the fact that she's had an operation, she said she'll never go back to wearing heels. She's quite petite, but she's absolutely loving the looks that she's creating with some interesting sneakers, whether they be retro style sneakers. She's also bought a couple of beautiful pairs of slightly chunky slides too. So there are options that can give you that elevation, but just make you look a little bit more timeless as well. So think twice about some of those high heels. The whole Y2K denim trend is very much a happening thing this year. And don't get me wrong, I think denim is great for all ages, but there seems to be quite a bit of denim that is either embellished or it's heavily distressed again, or it's patchwork style denim. And I do tend to think those styles that really kind of are potentially aging when you're in your 50s and beyond. And I suppose that's the whole gist of what I want to get across today. It's not about looking younger. It's about just looking the best version of yourself. And certainly that's what it is for me. I don't want to look like I'm in my 20s. That's never going to happen. I just want to look fresh and modern and interesting in my outfits. And I think we can do this if we just make some small tweaks and adjustments to some of these trends. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't follow the trends. It's following them, but just taking a little bit of a closer look to work out what is going to work for you and what what is not. Some of these Y2K trends are just a little bit hard to pull off as you get older, in my humble opinion. But let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments below if you agree or disagree with me. I'm happy to chat about it and as I said, debate in the comments below. Now designers seem to go crazy for what was being called mermaid core this year. And while it's pretty and it's Disney inspired, these kind of sequined pieces and very much kind of pretty Disney-like pieces, in my opinion, are just a little tricky to wear as you get older. I think that they very young girl or young woman inspired, and some of the super shimmery fabrics are just a little tricky to wear. It's a little bit like trying to wear shimmer shadows when you're doing your makeup, so lots of shimmery eyeshadow in your 50s. You get to an age and stage where too much shimmer just highlights things that you don't potentially want highlighted, and I feel the 
same very much so when it comes to fashion as well. And mermaid core, in my mind, very much falls into this category. So just perhaps give it a wide berth if this is something that you are finding yourself drawn to and you're in your 50s. One of the season's most popular trends is sheer layers and you've probably seen it everywhere. Now, what I suggest you do when you're in your 50s is not completely disregard sheer layers. I think some of these pieces can work really well in your 50s, especially to just give you a little bit of sheer coverage to cover up your arms or in the way of a sort of sheer little jacket to just give you that coverage. What I do think you need to be careful of is opting for sheer skirts and dresses. The bottom half doesn't seem to work quite as well when it comes to sheer fabrics when you're 50 plus, in my opinion. And of course, I am expecting you guys to come at me here and disagree with me, and that is fine. I really just want to share my thoughts on some of these trends and how we can navigate them in our later or more mature years, I should say. Certainly for me, I'm 56 and I love sheer fabrics and I love these sheer pieces, but I very much tend to wear them in my or on my top half in the way of beautiful shirts that have sheer paneling or, as I said, little jackets that just give you that little bit of extra coverage. So just think a little bit more carefully about some of these sheer pieces. Now I've talked about this a little bit lately and low rise pants are definitely returning and what I think that we can do as we get older, I'm not suggesting that we all stick with super high rise or mum style pants. You can definitely wear a low rise pant but I think that there is low rise and then there is super low rise. So there's kind of something here for everyone. What I would suggest in your 50s is opting for a rise that is probably an inch just below your belly button and no lower than that. And obviously I really feel, even when I'm saying this, that I will come under fire, but I do think that this just becomes a little bit more of a sophisticated look. And as I said, low rise is going to work for any age group, but it is just about how low you go. So just be a little bit careful with those super low rise and as I said, opt for something that just sits beneath your belly button. There are so many beautiful crochet dresses that are happening for spring summer this year, and I probably didn't expect that they would be just so huge, but they are every Everywhere. And now I know that it's probably tempting when you're seeing all of these gorgeous models and fashion it girls wearing beautiful crochet dresses but I do think it's a tricky trend to wear as you get older. Crochet in my mind always makes me think of my nana crocheting and certainly as I get older I don't want to look like a nana so I think that you can go a little bit awry when it comes to some of these crocheted pieces. So what I would suggest is maybe choosing a perhaps small crochet top that you might wear over a button down shirt or there are plenty of beautiful knits. So they're not crocheted, so there's no kind of association with grandma, but they're beautiful knit dresses. Some of them are bodycon, some of them have sleeves. Just a beautiful knit dress is going to be simpler and definitely more sophisticated than trying to pull off a trend like a crocheted top to toe outfit. I just think we need to keep this one for the young girls. I know that's terrible to say, but I think it's just one that's a little tricky for us over 50s to make look super stylish. Another trend that's very much happening is underwear being worn as outerwear. It probably goes without saying that I don't think that this is a great idea for us over 50s, but there are ways around it. I've seen some gorgeous little sort of boob tubes or little corset tops. And what you can do in summer is layer them underneath a short sleeve button down shirt or a, just a classic button down shirt and wear that open over the top. So essentially you're giving a nod to the trend and you're dipping your toe in, but you're not completely wearing it in a way that in my opinion is especially youthful. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.